rolling, and action. What's up, everybody? This is Jacqueline, soon to be Smith. And I'm Parker, already Smith. So for those of you who don't know, Jack and I met on Tinder about five years ago. We swiped right. Oh yeah. We met. Oh yeah. And we've been together ever since. Oh yeah. One, two, three. <gasps> Do you want to kiss? Okay. Okay. This is <laughs> insanely accurate to our first conversation. <laughs> so we are getting married at the end of the month. Or we already did, depending on when you're watching this. <laughs> We are going to talk to you a little bit about custom jewelry today. Yes, I am, as I'm sure you could imagine, very uninformed when it comes to custom jewelry, but... I have worked in fine jewelry for the last six years, so I am more informed than he is. We recently had our wedding bands, and a couple of years ago we had Jacqueline's engagement ring custom designed and made at Ricardo Basta Jewelry in Century City. If you're in the LA area and you're looking for anything custom, Highly recommend them. Karen, Ricardo, Sarah, the whole team, they're awesome. We decided to make this video so that we could talk about the process of custom design jewelry and show you that it's not that intimidating as it may seem, and we had a lot of fun doing it, so you might too. Let's start first and foremost with why we decided to go custom to begin with. Parker and I had talked about getting engaged, and we decided we wanted to do the engagement ring process together. Custom can be a really great option if you have a pretty good idea of what you want, or if you don't know what you want at all, or let's say you have a family diamond that you maybe want to remount into a completely new setting, custom is the way to go. It was important for us to go a little bit non-traditional with things. You know, a lot of times guys end up going to the store and buying a ring and making the entire thing a surprise when in reality they're not even sure whether or not what they're getting is what their potential fiance even wants. So we felt like it was much smarter to just go ahead and figure out exactly what she wanted and then kind of work as a team to go through the entire process. We had such a great experience with Ricardo Basta. They made it so easy for us. So we wanna give you a couple of tips to make it easy for you too. So our first tip is go into the jeweler with an idea of what you want. You don't have to know exactly what you want, but you can use things like Pinterest and Instagram to find inspiration photos. Anything that you see that you like, any part of a design or a ring, just save the photo and take it with you. And in terms of guys rings, I honestly had no clue what I wanted, but I just hopped around the internet. I went on Pinterest, I went on other sites and just kind of saved photos as well of the guy style rings. That way I was able to have at least somewhat of an idea of what I wanted when I walked in the door. When thinking about design, you might want to consider the types of gemstones you might want to use. Traditionally, people use diamonds, but you can go another route, such as a sapphire or a tanzanite or a special gemstone that's important to you. And also think about the metals. You don't just have to do the traditional yellow gold or platinum. You can mix your metals. My ring, my engagement ring has rose gold and platinum in it. Tip number two, you gotta set a budget. There are so many different factors in jewelry that can affect the price. So if you just set your budget, your jeweler can then help you figure out how you can get exactly what you want for your budget. And tip number three, this is specifically for engagement rings. Always be sure that you're talking to your person before you just go out and buy something willy nilly. Willy nilly, <laughs> yeah. Communication is so important in a relationship and it's also really important in the process of getting your engagement ring or your wedding band. If you're really excited about surprising them with this whole thing, you can still involve them in the process of the design, but then once the ring is ready, they're not gonna see it in its whole form, and you can surprise them with a really cool, elaborate proposal, if that's your style. Is this real life? So now we're gonna show you our wedding bands that we created with Ricardo Basta. I don't know which is which. Right. You have to keep right. whatever's in there. Um, okay, but I hope this is mine. It's mine. Bye. Nice! <laughs> on my face. So we hope that this makes you realize that you can think outside the box, you don't have to be traditional, and why not go custom and create something really unique together? Absolutely. There's so many traditional aspects to weddings and to engagements and all of that stuff, so don't be afraid to kind of break the norm if you don't feel like those traditions are in line with your beliefs or what you like, don't do them. It's really that easy. We're living proof. We just really hope that you guys are inspired to understand that custom is awesome and your rings are 
aside from the marriage itself, the thing that you carry with you every single day. They are the reminder of your person. So you might as well really put your whole heart and soul into it and make it something that you're excited about as opposed to just going with a generic option that's available to everybody else. That was good, babe. So go now. <laughs> Go, stop the video, go right now. Get in your car, drive, drive to Century, Century City. City. <laughs> so if you wanna go custom, whether it's for an engagement, a wedding band, or just any jewelry, go see Ricardo Basta. Tell them that we sent you. Thank you guys very much for watching. We would love to know what you think of our rings down in the comments. And if you have any other questions about our rings, custom jewelry, or our wedding, just let us know. If you liked our video, hit that thumbs up button. Comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. Tell your mom about the channel. She'll, she'll love it. She's gonna love it. She's gonna love it. I know your moms love YouTube videos. Our moms love the channel. Oh yeah. So your mom's gonna love it. Definitely. We'll see you when we see ya. <laughs> Bye.